scheduled and emergency blackouts, noise from generators, heating centers and regular Russian shellings. The winter of 2022-2023 is considered the most difficult in the history of independent Ukraine. We are having surgery with artificial circulation and our lights are off. Surgeons operate with headlight. After October 10, 2022, the Russian army launched massive strikes against Ukraine's critical infrastructure. From autumn 2022 to spring 2022, Russia fired 850 cruise missiles of various types, ballistic missiles and hundreds of drones into Ukraine. Among those who gave criminal orders were the commander of the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation, Sergei Kobylash, and the commander of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, Viktor Sokolov. Two suspects bear responsibility for missile strikes carried out by the forces under their command against the Ukrainian electric infrastructure from at least October 10, 2022 until at least March 9, 2023. There are reasonable grounds to believe they bear individual criminal responsibility for the strikes directed against civilian targets. From the International Criminal Court website. Kabelesh and Sokolov have been wanted by the International Criminal Court since March 5, 2024. The ICC has already issued a warrant for their arrest. The Russian commanders are accused of committing war crimes. This is also the first time that the Russian military is suspected of committing a crime against humanity and, quote, other inhuman acts causing great suffering. It took many months of hard work by prosecutors, investigators, various Ukrainian agencies who provided the ICC office of the prosecutor with hundreds of pieces of evidence and a huge amount of information. And we have reached another milestone in ensuring justice for all the victims and survivors of this war. In comments to the Russian propaganda media outlets, Putin's spokesman Peskov said that Russia does not recognize the ruling of the International Criminal Court. Moscow signed the Rome Statute in 2000, but has not ratified the agreement. Russia withdrew its signature immediately after the court published a report calling Russia's annexation of Crimea an occupation. Despite this, as soon as Kobylash and Sokolov, as well as Putin and Lvova Belova, leave Russia, law enforcement officers in 123 countries are obliged to send them to the Hug. This is the second decision of the International Criminal Court on Russian war criminals. Both concern Russia's top military and political leadership. For every crime committed in Ukraine, Russia will be held accountable both on the battlefield and in an international tribunal. Such crimes have no statute of limitations. Vasil Maluk, head of the security service of Ukraine on Telegram. The security services of Ukraine has also informed Kobylash and Sokolov of the suspicion. The commander of the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation is suspected of waging an aggressive war and violation of Ukraine's territorial integrity. The security service of Ukraine believes that on Kobylash's order, the Russian army carries out massive strikes on residential houses and hospitals. Commander of the Russian Black Sea Fleet Sokolov is suspected under three articles at once. Violation of war laws and the territorial integrity of Ukraine and planning, preparing, unleashing and waging war of aggression. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeria Nekopelova, UATV News.